Good evening, hi kids. You wrote a case at examination at uh, 250, it started and ended at 350, almost 60 questions were there. I know you are already calculating that I did 55 problems, I'll get RV or BMS, all the calculation. No, 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 no. Still, you have to do physics and chemistry, then only you can and you calculate the PU score. Yes, according to me, maths was, uh, I have inquired other students also, maths was little easy. Yes, some students failed that, uh, felt that it is little lengthy. Now, the lengthy word is used, if you have done a proper practice, it won't be so lengthy. Okay, so in this session, we will be discussing the key, little bit idea of the solutions I will give, but detailed solutions will be given in the next phase and in the comment section, you can write how many questions you have done. Okay, good evening, myself Vadlamani Shyam. I am working in Diksha from last 12 years and the senior mathematics faculty. Okay, let's start. How easy it is? Uh, according to analysis, I called around 25 students. Most of the students said it was an easy paper, but little, uh, they were not able to complete within speculated time one hour. So, I'll say it's an easy paper. So, how many moderate problems were there? Difficult, I have seen seven moderate problems were there and 53 easy, no problem was difficult at all. Only 7 moderate and 53, 53 were the easy. How much an average student? Average student can easily expect a 30 questions. 30 marks means 30 questions he can easily do within speculated time of 1 hour. Now, where they are out of the syllabus? Yes, if I talk about deleted syllabus, 3 they asked in plain, 1 they asked in the reasoning. So, there were four questions which we can say out of the syllabus what they given in the PU examination. How the paper is comparison last year? So, a bit almost the same. You can pretty last year's paper, this paper was little easier. Okay, easy. Where there were any mistakes in the question? Yes, one question was the mistake. We will discuss that. Which question? There was a typographical error was there. Otherwise, paper was really nice only and uh, you will be shocked that 25 to 28 percent was there direct from NCRT textbook. So, this is the first question. So, if you observe this first question, C is the correct answer. How it works? Apply a hospital rule. You said 0 by 0 form. If you apply a hospital rule, this becomes minus root 2 cos sin x integrate, uh, sorry, differentiation of cos x is uh, sin x and differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x and a limit extending to pi by 4, if you put answer 1 by 2, you will get it, okay. C option is correct. So, applying the hospital rule by, because it is 0 by 0 form, 0 by 0 form, so very simple, if you differentiate numerator and denominator separately and uh, substitute x equal to pi by 4, you get you get answer 1 by 2. Next question. So, very simple negation of a statement for every real number x square plus 5 is positive. So, option C is correct. So, there exists at least one real number x such that x square plus 5 is not positive. They are talking about negation. So, they are thinking positive, the negation of positive is not positive. Question number 3. A, B, C, D. If A, B, C, D, E are the observations with the mean m and standard deviation s, standard deviation of observation a plus k. So, what happens 3? d is the answer. If you add any elements, same, ele same value of element, um, value like k is added to each and every element, standard deviation never changes. Please remember that if you add a constant term to each and every term, what happens? The standard deviation will not change. So, that is why option d is correct. Question number 3, option D. 4, f x equal to tan x. So, definitely inverse of tan x is tan inverse x. So, tan inverse 1 is pi by 4, option A. Option A is correct, pi by 4. The function is tan inverse x and they are asking tan inverse 1 which is equal to pi by 4. You can easily do this problem within 20 seconds. Question number 5 f x equal to x square plus 1 pre image. Pre image means 17 equal to x square plus 1 
So x square equal to 16, x equal to plus or minus 4. Now minus 3 equal to x square plus 1, not possible. So option C is correct. Question number 5, option C is correct. It was a very simple question which you can easily do within 10 to 15 seconds. Next, g of x is equal to sin x, f of g is equal to sin root x by observation. You can see 6 question C is the correct answer. C is the correct answer. You apply it, g of fx, g of fx. So g, what is fx is given to you? Sin square x. What is g you get? Root over sin square x which is equal to sin x. Clear? g of fx equal to sin x. Actually, you have to put mod, but they have not given the mod. Actual answer is under root of x square is mod sin x. They have given sin x. Okay, chalega. Question number 7. You see the question number 7. You have to check the ordered pace. A is given to you as 3. 3D is equal to 2C. You have to check which ordered pace satisfies. Suppose I take 2. So 2 comma 3 satisfies 6 equal to 6. Next you take 4. 4, 3 is 12 and uh, 6, 2 is 12. Again, suppose I take 8, 8, 3 is 24, 12, 2 is 24. Next you get 10, 10, 3 is 30, 15. Next you get 12, 12 comma, this will give you uh, 12, 12 is 36, 18, 2 is 36. Okay. Similarly, next 15, 15, 3 is 45 and uh, this will give you 15, 3 is 45. What will give 18? You have to stop here only. So, what is the option correct? In this case, option uh, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Option B is correct. Let me check. 7 is uh, question number 7. Question number 7, C we given. Let me check where might be anything I left. 2, 4, 6, I forgot. 6, this won't come. 6, 3s are 18. And uh, 9, 2s are 18. 6, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, option C is correct. Clear? This was a very simple problem. So, which accepts the condition AD equal to BC. Next one. Question number 8. Cos inverse x, cos inverse y, converse n is equal to 3 pi. It is only possible when x equal to minus 1, y equal to minus 1, z is equal to minus 1. If you substitute here, you get 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 6. Option C is correct. So, question number 8. Option C is correct. Next. Question number 9. 2 sin inverse x minus 3 cos inverse x equal to 4. They are asking 2 sin inverse x, 3 cos inverse x. We know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and 2 sin inverse x minus 3 cos inverse x is equal to 4. Solve both the equations. Get sin inverse x and cos inverse x. Substitute here. You get your required answer. Ninth you get the B option. So, sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2, 2 sin inverse x minus 3 cos inverse x equal to 4. If you add both equations, you solve the both equations, how to solve? It's so very simple. You multiply by 3 and add it up. You get 3 means 5 sin inverse x is equal to 5, uh, 3 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 plus 4, 3 pi by 2 plus 4. Further, once you know sin inverse x, you can calculate cos inverse x. Once you know sin inverse x, cos inverse x, substitute here, you get required answer. Tenth, A is a square matrix, A square is equal to A, 1 plus A is equal to, <coughs> uh, sorry for that, I plus A equal to whole cube, A square is given to you, expand the value, A plus B whole cube, and substitute wherever you find A square as A, you get option C is correct. You get 7A plus I. Tenth question, C part will come. So simple. You just expand it. Wherever you find a square, you substitute a. Again, a square will come. Substitute a. You get 7a plus i. Question number 11, a to the power 10. You do a square. Then automatically you get uh, the sequence of this one. And you get 11th as 11 as uh, b option. b option will come correct. 2 to the power 9, a. Okay, a to the power, a to the power 10. You find, calculate a square. Once you are able to calculate a square, you get an idea a to the power 4. A square and a square will give you a to the power 4. In such a way, you get 2 to the power 9 into a. So, problem is like this a square. 
you calculate a square, you know how to multiply it. 1 1 and 1 1 you multiply it. Okay, you will get the answer for it. Next, question number 12, there is a typographical error. Some mistake is there in this part. If it is done properly, you get an answer. So, this was the only mistake, question number 12. 13, they gave adjoint, you calculate the adjoint, means uh, adjoint formula of that A, adjoint of any matrix is adjoint to the power n minus 1. So, that uh, that you calculate, we are given at that A is given as 4. So, 4, 4 square you have to calculate, 4 square is nothing but uh, 4 square is 16, equate to the determinant of this, you get the p value and you get the answer as 13 as C. 11 you will get it. I repeat once again, P is the adjoint of this one. P is the adjoint of this matrix. Okay. And debt of A is given 4. So, adjoint means the debt of adjoint A. Debt of adjoint is nothing but debt of matrix to the power n minus 1. Put it and substitute the value. You will get the value of P. So, they are asking in this question the value of alpha. You will get the value of alpha because you are calculating the determinant of it. 14, same db, db by dx is there, you expand the determinant, expand the determinant, differentiate this, okay, and a is given to you as, you uh, differentiate this, where whatever the result comes, that result must be x square minus 1. So, 14, 14 option a is correct, it comes as 3a. So, you have to differentiate this, you expand it and differentiate it, once you differentiate it, okay, then the what is the a value, a value, a value is x square minus 1, you will get 3 times of x square minus 1. 15, same way, you have to, you have to expand this uh, determinant, substitute here, either you use the L hospital rule, that is easy way, so L hospital rule how it works, limit extending to 0, f dash x by 2x, again differentiate it, limit extending to 0, f double dash x by 2. So, you evaluate f of x, it will take little time, 1 to 1 and a half minute, it will take time. The time which you saved the previous problems can be utilized here. So, you substitute it, f double dash x by 2, you get required answer, 15th answer is b, you will get 0, okay, 15th answer is b. 16th, uh, which of the following observations correct in the feature of logarithmic function? The point 1 comma 0 is always on the graph of a logarithmic function. So, log graph they are asking, which of the following observation? This is the log graph. So, this is 1 comma 0, option C is correct. Okay, point 1 comma 0 always graph in the logarithmic function. Clear? Next one. 17 mod cos x, if you try to draw the graph of mod cos x, mod cos graph, graph is like this, this is a cross, this point is pi by 2 and this point is 3 pi by 2. So, uh, where function, everywhere it is continuous but not differentiable at multiples of odd multiples of pi by 2, option B is correct. See the graph, so pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, it is not differentiable, it is not differentiable, this you get the negative slope, this you get as positive slope, sharp edge is there at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and so on. 18, take log both sides, you get your required result. This will come as log y is equal to log 2 plus uh, means a 3x log x. Okay, differentiate both sides, you get your required result. 1 by y dy by dx is equal to 3 log x plus 3x into 1 by x. So, dy by dx equal to y. Uh, y into 3 log x plus 3, put x equal to 1, so if you put x equal to 1, this will, y value will be 2, this will become 0, 3, answer is 6, option B, 18th option B. See, most of the questions I am solving for you. 19, let the function satisfies f of x plus y is equal to f of x, so you have to use the basic definition, limit as tending to 0, f of x plus y minus f of x plus y. So, this is nothing but 
limit dash tending to 0 is equal to f dash x. f dash x, this will give you f of x common f of y minus 1 by y. So, this is nothing but f of x into f dash 0 is equal to f dash x. They are asking f dash phi values are given to you. Answer will be a, 19a, 19a. So, f, x, f of phi, f dash phi you require, f dash phi you require, f of phi is 3, this is 2, 3 to the 6. Correction option is A. Right? Next. 20th mean value theorem, Lagrange's mean value theorem. We know that f of b minus f of a by b minus a is equal to f dash c. f dash c, f of b is nothing but f of 2 minus f of 0 by 2 minus 0. The derivative of this will be uh, c minus 1 whole square plus c into 2 c minus 1. So, evaluate it, you get the answer 4 by 3. Option B is correct. 20th option B is correct. Okay. Simplified, it comes a quadratic equation and once you solve the quadratic equation, C value you get is as 4 by 3. Next, f x the point x cube minus 3 x 6 x square plus 12 x minus 3 at x equal to 2. Differentiate f dash x. f dash x you get it as 3 x square minus 12 x plus 12. Okay. f dash x equal to 0 you do. You get x square minus 4x plus 4 when you get x is equal to 2. What is f double dash x? f double dash x is 6x minus 12. So, f double dash 2 is also 0. So, option B is correct. Point of inflection. Whenever second order derivative also becomes 0, then we say it is a point of inflection. Option B. x to the power x, so many times you have done in classes, it is from NCERT textbook, direct x to the power x, log y is equal to x log x, differentiate both sides, 1 by y dy by dx is equal to log x plus 1. So, dy by dx will give you, uh, so they are asking increasing function y into 1 plus log x. So, increasing function means dy by dx is greater than 0. So, 1 plus log x is greater than 0 or x is greater than 1 by e. x is greater than 1 by option c. 23 option c. Next. 24, the maximum value of right circular cone. Slant height is given like this. This is the value of 6 is given and this is h. This is r h square plus r square is equal to 36. Volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, 1 by 3 pi r square is nothing but 36 minus h square into h. We got v of h. Then calculate v dash h and equate to 0. You get 16 root 3 pi. And once you get h value, you can calculate r value also. And h and r, you know, we substitute in the formula. You get 16 root 3, 24, 24 B option is correct. Option B is correct. Clear? X e to the power X is there. Again, you differentiate. It is very common question. It is repeated on the CET also. So, what happens? You have to find a derivative of it. So, F dash X is equal to e to the power X into 1 minus X plus X into e to the power x into 1 minus x into derivative of x is 1 minus 2x. So, what is common? e to the power x into 1 minus x is common. We get 1 plus x minus 2x square is greater than 0. Okay. So, you get it as 2x square minus x minus 1 is less than 0. If you see the interval, it increases from minus 1 to d, option d. 25. 25 option D is correct. Clear? Because greater than 0 increasing function definition is f dash x is greater than 0. So, if I take multiply with minus sign, you get this one. So, these factors will be 2x square minus 2x 
plus x minus 1. Okay, this can be 2x two, two common. You get x minus 1 plus x minus 1. Okay, is equal to 0 if I take it. We get the factors x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. It means whenever less than sign is there, x lies between smaller number and bigger number. So, it is increasing from minus 1 by 2 to 1. Option D is correct. 26, it's a good question again. Cos x equal to t, cos x equal to t, if you put it, this will become minus dt by 3 plus 4 t square, take minus 1 by 4 common, you get dt by 3 by 4 plus t square. So, it is a tan inverse x formula for integral dx by x square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus e. Anyhow, my, my interesting topic is integral calculus, that is why I am very fond of it. So, you substitute the values, you get answer 26th as option A. Option A. C minus sign is already given, option A is correct. Next, 27, if you observe this, one sin x is an odd function, cos square x is even function, even into odd is odd. Similarly, x square is even, sin x is the odd. So, odd into even is again odd. Minus a2, minus a to a, f of x dx is equal to 0 when f of x is odd function. See, it takes hardly 10 seconds time. Okay, that is called the planning. 28, same log x equal to t. So, this becomes 1 by x dx is equal to dt. This integral becomes dt by 6t square plus 7t plus 2. If you do the factors, this becomes dt into 2t plus 1 into 3t plus 2. If you do the factors, option b will come correct. Partial fractions. If you do the partial fractions, this integral becomes 2 by 2t plus 1 minus 3 by 3t plus 2. So, this will give you nothing but log of 2t plus 1 by 3t plus 2. So, option B is correct. Correct. Next. 29. It is a very tricky problem. Until unless you know, you cannot solve it. So, multiply divide by cos x by 2. Integral 2 sin 5x by 2 cos x by 2 dx divided by 2 cos x by 2 sin x by 2. I am not solving completely. 2 sin a sin b will give you sin 5x, this is 5. 5 plus uh, 6, 6 by 2 will give you 3x plus sin x, sin 2x, sorry, divided by sin x dx. Okay, sin 3x formula you know. 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x and sin 2 x is 2 sin x cos x divided by sin x divided by sin x you get relevant again sin square x you convert into double angle then you get your required result I think options 29 option c is correct option c will come sin 3 x is 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x and sin 2 x is 2 sin x cos x you can easily do it. 30, mod is there, you have to break the function, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, so this will be positive, x minus 1 minus times of x minus 3 dx, plus 3, 2, 5, x minus 1 plus x minus 3 dx, solve this integral, you get your required answer, I think option A is correct, 12 will come. Okay, question number 30, 30A, 12 will come. Area of reason, y is equal to 3x. This is the graph of x square and this is the graph of y is equal to 3x. Both will meet at 3. You can cross check, 3, 3 is a 9, 3 square is 9. So, area of integral 0 to 3. So, 3x minus x square dx. Further, you all know how to solve 0 to 3. 3x square by 2 minus x cube by 3, you get your required answer 9 by 2 of 32, 32b. 
9 by 2 is the correct answer. 33 here you offer is the same type of question but where the students do mistake is they forget the down part when you draw it live y is equal to x this area as well as this area you have to calculate two times 0 to 1 x minus x cube dx you solve you get answer as 0.5 option d clear 34 take log both sides we get dy by dx is equal to log of x plus 1 variable separable dy is equal to log of x plus 1 dx this becomes y is equal to log uh, derivative of log x is x log x minus x sorry integral integral of log x is x log x minus x in place of x x plus 1 is given x plus 1 log of x plus 1 minus x plus 1 plus c you substitute uh, y x equal to 0 y equal to 3 you get a required answer i think option d is correct 34 option d is correct family of course x and y intercept tangent at this point the concept i'll tell you this the graph is given to you this is a tangent this point is x 0 y 0 this is 2 x 0 comma 0 0 comma 2 y 0 okay equation of a tangent then you find it is saying family of course x intercept tangent respectively double x x for the point when you solve it you get x y is equal to c square 35 option a x y is equal to c 35 35 35 a is correct next Yes, A is correct. A and B are the A, C given, A, B is given, A, C is given. These are two vectors given to you. This is A, B and A, C. We know the length of median. So, A, B vector plus A, C vector by 2. Then take the modulus. Okay. You get option C is correct. Route 33 will come. Clear? 33. Uh, yes. Question number 36, 36C will come. So, okay, parallel bipedal. So, box ABC. So, box ABC will give you how much? Sorry, the box ABC. This will give you 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. You calculate the determinant, you will get the required value 37. 37 comes out to be B option, 2 square unit. Okay, so box ABC, box ABC, box. A, B, C, vector A, B, C, which is equal to determinant. The components you have to write, components of A vector, B vector and C vector is the box A, B, C. A and B are the two unit vectors, mod A plus B units. So, A vector plus B vector whole square is mod A vector whole square plus mod B vector whole square plus 2 mod A mod B. So, A is unit vector 1 equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 mod a vector mod b vector cos theta so from this if you solve cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 answer is 2 pi by 3 option c is correct this can also be done within uh, 15 to 20 seconds 39 a and b two vectors are given a plus b unit vector so theta is 20 39 one minute uh, a plus b unit vector 38 question is 38 question is C option is correct. So, these two are mutually perpendicular. Mutually perpendicular we know A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is equal to uh, cos theta you have to find. That uh, means cos pi by 2 is 0. A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 if you calculate question number 40 we get option A minus 10 by 7 option A is correct. When two lines are perpendicular A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is equal to 0 because cos pi by 2 is equal to 0. If you substitute, you get minus 10 by 7 value. Next, distance between two parallel planes actually, two parallel planes y, this is 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 4. This can be written as 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 6. Distance between them, 
we know d2 minus d1 by root a square plus b square plus c square we get uh, 6 minus 4 of course modulus under root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square this will give you 25 25 plus 4 is 29 so this will give you 2 by root 29 option c is correct 41 option c is correct okay the formula is d2 minus d1 by modulus of course a square plus b square plus c square 42 sine of angle between the straight line and this plane apply the apply the formula to it and you get the simple form uh, find the angle formula sine angle formula you will get the value 42 the answer will be option a 5 by root 2 okay straight formula based question x y is equal to 0 3 dimensional plane represents at 43 is very conceptual 43 c a pair of planes right angle to it of course x equal to 0 or y equal to 0 definitely it gives pair of planes right angle to each other 44 option c this is option c 44 plane containing 3 to gamma 0 and this line e is okay so the plane contains this point and the line okay that plane contains the plane a uh, plane containing uh, you have to search a plane which contains c this point is substituted in the options point is 3 6 4 must also line this plane if you calculate it 44 comes out to be a option a of course, three questions were asked in the plane, which is not in the syllabus. But most of the students have studied it. You all have studied, you all are preparing for J means definitely you might have studied it. Corner points of feasible reason. If you find this one 45, linear programming, option D comes correct. Any point on the line segment joining, these two will come when you draw it up. It's also very easy questions. You have done the same question in PU also. 46 are dice thrown 10 times probability that odd number will come at least once at least once means 1 minus none you do 1 minus 1 minus none you get your required answer 46th 46th you get a c option so simple calculations 1 minus none that's the reason 1023 by 1024 is coming this is a random variable problem simple formula based the mean of a random variable you apply the uh, means mean formula random variable and you get option 47 47 you get it as a b okay next one 48 random variable x in the binomial distribution and n equal to 5 is given px is given 9 times of it px x equal to 2 you apply the formula 9 of px 3 then you get the probability p so 48 48 get option b 1 by 10 simple application of formula why i am not doing is because you know the formula it takes hardly 10 seconds to solve it 14 in two finite sets m and n elements respectively the total number of subsets in the first set is 56 more than the total number of subsets in the second set value of m and n respectively the 49 you solve it it comes out to be 6 and 3 the basic set theory question So, grid is x square minus 5x plus 6 is given to you. Thus, if you do the factors, get a integer of x minus 3 into get a integer of x minus 2 is equal to 0. It means get a integer of x is equal to 3 or get a integer of x is equal to 2. Okay. So, when 3 will come, when, when 3 will come, when is a close interval 3 to open interval 4 open interval 4, 3 will come, 3.1 get is also 3, 3.2 is also 3. I am doing those questions which normally students do mistake. Don't mistake that I have not done probability and all. So, simple formula based. Where the students do mistake that I am trying. Here also, close interval 2 and open interval 3. 2.999 is also 2. So, what you have to do? The union of this one, question number 50, 50 you get B option. Okay, because 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 is included here, 3 is included here, this is excluded because it satisfies. That's why answer is close interval 2 and open interval 4. 
51, two circles arcs are same length as at point 30 degrees and 78 at the center, then ra ratio of the radii, you know the arc length formula, apply the arc length, two circles of arc of same length, subtend means two circles are given to you, okay, this radius is R1 and this radius is R2, see two circles arcs of same length, this arc length is same, arc length is same, you calculate it, you get and once you calculate uh, 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 two arc lengths equate it and uh, radius you don't know when you find the ratio theta r is the formula, theta r1, theta1 r1, theta2 r2, apply it, you get the ratio, 51 answer will come out to be b, simple question just 30 degrees and 78 degrees. But one thing you remember, you have to convert into radians, please. So, degrees has to be converted into radians, then only you have to solve it. If you directly degrees, it is wrong. So, this formula is valid only for radians. Lot of students might have done mistake because 38 degrees, 30 degrees and 78 when you divide it, it will never come 13 by 5. So, you must be very careful that you have to convert into radians. Triangle ABC, red angle triangle at C. This is right angle at C, this is given to you, this is A, opposite A is A, opposite this is B is B, further you know what is tan A, tan A means what, perpendicular base A by B, A by B plus similarly tan B, tan B means this one, B by A. So this will give you A square plus B square by AB. But A square plus B square is nothing but C square, C square AB, C square AB is option C. 52 option C. 53 alpha is a real value of real value of alpha. This is purely real means whenever any complex numbers purely real means imaginary part is 0. So, you have to rationalize it 1 minus i sin alpha into 1 minus 2i sin alpha divided by 1 where this becomes uh, i square 1 plus 4 sin square alpha. So, imaginary part equal to 0, then you get required answer 53 as a c, okay. So, in this real part, purely real means imaginary part is equal to 0. So, what will be the imaginary part? i sin alpha minus 2i sin alpha minus 3i sin alpha will give you. So, sin alpha is equal to 0, alpha equal to n pi. 55 length of a rectangle is 5 times the breadth, the minimum perimeter of a rectangle 1, 1 centimeters. The simple this one, length into breadth is equal to area formula is there. So, 54, B option will come, breadth will always be greater than equal to 15 centimeters. Clear? So, length of a rectangle is 5 times the breadth, the minimum perimeter, you have to use the maximum minima. So, length of a rectangle is, length is equal to 5 times of breadth. Okay, what is the perimeter? Perimeter 2 times of L plus B. So, get 2 times of L is how much? 5B plus B is equal to perimeter. Okay, then further you can calculate it. This becomes 6, uh, 6B. Okay, breadth will always be greater than 15 because the perimeter of a rectangle is 180 they already gave. 180 they already gave. So, perimeter of a rectangle 180 means this perimeter is 180. 180 is equal to how much? 2 into 6b, okay. So, this will become 90 and 3 2s, 3 30, 15, b is equal to, breadth is equal to 50, that is why greater than equal to 15. Option b is correct. Next, 49c3, 48c3, 47c3, 46c3, we know ncr, ncr plus n c r plus n plus 1 c r plus 1. If you keep on applying, keep on adding the values of it, you get 55 as a option a, 50 c 4 will come, okay. So, this is what? This is 45 n c r and n c r plus 1 is n plus 1 c r plus 1, okay. So, applying that formula, you will get keep on adding it up and it comes land up at 50 c 4. 55, 56, 56 again, this is general term, 
general term is nothing but r ncr by nc r minus 1. So, you have to simplify ncr ncr minus 1. I think 56, 56 you will get option A. This comes out to be n minus r plus 1. So, summation of n minus r plus 1 means sum of natural numbers which is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Option A is correct. When you simplify, you get summation of n minus r plus 1. SN, SN stands for the sum of n terms of a GP, sum of n terms of GP formula we know A into R to the power n minus 1 by R minus 1 is equal to SN. Applying that formula A is given, first term is given SN and they are asking S to n. If you find the ratio S, this is SN, we calculate S to n is A into R to the power 2n minus 1 by this will give you R square minus 1. Okay. When you divide both, option B comes. R to the power n, yes, plus 1. Sn is to S to n, sum of GP. Okay, First term is A, common ratio is S to n will give again, this is R minus 1 only. This is also R minus 1 only. When you divide Sn by this one, so this becomes nothing but R to the power n by R to the power 2n minus 1 a minus b upon a square minus b square, a minus b will cancel, you get 1 by r to the power n plus 1, simple option b is correct. 58, uh, a, a and b, a m and uh, geometrical, arithmetic mean and geometrical mean of the quadratic equations are uh, five, 5 and 4, simple question. So, arithmetic mean is a plus b by 2 is given you as 5, a b root a b is given as 4, it means a plus b is equal to 10 and a b is equal to 16. This is sum of roots and this is product of roots. So, x square minus sum of roots is 10 x and product of roots is 16 is equal to 0, 58 option d is correct. x square minus 10 x plus 16. Sorry, 59 angle between between the line x plus y is equal to 3 and line joining. So, what is the slope of this line? Slope of line is 4 minus 1 by minus 3 minus 1. This will give you 3. This is a 4, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Minus this will give you uh, minus 4. Minus 3 by 4 is the slope. I think I am correct. 4 minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 is 3 minus. This you know the slope. Slope of this line is y equal to minus x plus 3. So, m1 is equal to minus 1, m2 is equal to minus 3 by 4, apply the formula tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2, tan theta is equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. We applying the formula, we get 59, option C is correct. Okay. Slope is minus 1, perfectly correct. Next, equation of parabola whose focus is 6, 6, 0. You draw a parabola, this focus is 6, 0 and directrix is x equal to minus 6. So, definitely symmetric about x axis. So, y square is equal to 4ax and a equal to 6, y square equal to 6, 4 so 24x. Option A is correct. 60th option A is correct. Okay, I think one question was a repeated question or something wrong. Okay, one determinant question, typographical error was there. So, most of the questions I have explained it. One or two questions in the probability and all. So, direct formula application is there. If you apply the formula, you get your required result. So, according to our teacher's panel, I think most of the questions are there. Typographical error happen. We also human beings. Okay, so I think all the best for your next exam physics and chemistry and I try my level best to explain you all this and according to me it's an easy please to comment uh, how much score you will get it at least we can get idea according to our teachers panel almost 30 average student can easily do 30 questions it's easily possible within speculated time you can do 58 questions accurately I've seen some questions can be done within uh, within 10 to 15 seconds and some questions I think 6 to 7 questions will take more than a 
minute time. So the planning is very, very, uh, very, very important in physics, chemistry also. Whatever the easy problems, immediately do it. Last five minutes, just cross check all the problems. What you have done is uh, means bubbling is correct or not because bubbling is very, very important. And you maximum to maximum, you guess only three to four problems. Don't guess, of course, there is no negative marking. So remaining whatever is left over within the speculated time, you can guess it. But you devote maximum 99% time to solve and do it as you have done best. All the best for your physics and chemistry. Bye. Take care. We'll meet you in the next class where, with the detailed explanation of each and every question with the concepts what is used. Thank you. Take care. Bye.